Hey clean freaks, germaphobes, and everyone in between. Today I'm going to show you all about how to clean and disinfect with bleach. So up until recently, bleach was merely something that I added to my whites to get them whiter. I used to never clean with it, mostly because I didn't want to risk getting bleach stains on my clothes while I was cleaning, but also because I really didn't know the right way to clean with bleach because you can get it wrong. You know, if you use it the wrong way, it can be unsafe but I'm gonna teach you how to clean with bleach with the right ratios to use when mixing with water, the things that you should never do with bleach, as well as some common questions. Watch till the end though to learn about common mistakes people do with their bleach to make it less effective. But first, if you're new to our channel, we are all about cleaning and disinfecting and organizing and anything else that helps to make your life easier. So if you're new to this channel, hit subscribe and the notification bell so you won't miss any of our future videos. With the rise of COVID-19, disinfecting has never been on our minds more. While scientists aren't exactly sure yet, it's thought that coronavirus can survive on surfaces for several days. So keeping commonly touched surfaces disinfected daily and sometimes multiple times a day is an important measure to help keep the spread of COVID down. Now, fortunately, COVID-19 is an easy virus to deactivate. Many of the household cleaners you find at the store will be effective against COVID. A quick way to know is just look at the bottle. If it says kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses, it's safe to use against COVID. If you want to get a little more specific, you can check out the EPA's list of approved cleaners against COVID. We'll put a link in the video description. Unfortunately though, unless you already had a stash of cleaners before the COVID outbreak, many standard household cleaners are hard to come by. And that's what brings us back to bleach. Since bleach is concentrated and you need to dilute it with water, one container lasts a long time. Let's talk safety. I had always been a little cautious about using bleach because I knew there were safety issues, but honestly, I didn't really know what they were. But don't worry, as long as you use bleach correctly, bleach is safe to use. First off, always read the warnings and the instructions. While using bleach, be sure to wear protective gloves, wear protective clothing. I would wear a long sleeve shirt, but I like to wear um, an apron just to keep it from getting on my clothes. Yes, this is a Christmas apron and it is April, but it's actually the only apron I have. And then um, if you think that you might be um, using it in a way that would splash into your eyes, wear goggles. Make sure to have good ventilation in the area. Open windows and doors if you can and never, ever, ever mix bleach with other cleaners, especially bleach with toilet bowl cleaner or bleach with ammonia. Bleach and ammonia make a poisonous gas called chlorine gas and it's deadly, so just don't do it. You can use bleach if you're pregnant, but just be sure to work in a well-ventilated area as I mentioned earlier. Now storage and also the age of your bleach bottle is important to talk about because old bleach is less potent. You don't wanna be putting all the work and effort into cleaning only to have your cleaning efforts fall short because your bleach is less effective. So bleach starts losing its potency after it's expired by about 20% per year. The shelf life of bleach is usually about 12 months. So if you have an old bottle of bleach that's been around forever, don't use that if you wanna be sure you're disinfecting your home properly because it won't be working as well as you think it is. It's also important to store your bleach correctly. You wanna store it in a cool place that is out of direct sunlight to help keep its potency longer. Sunlight can actually render bleach inactive that's why it doesn't come in a see-through container. Okay, so let's get into how you disinfect. If you've purchased a regular spray bottle of bleach like Clorox Bleach Multi-Purpose Cleaner, you don't need to worry about mixing it with water. You can just spray it straight out of the spray bottle. But if you have one of these big jugs, you need to know the right ratio mix with water and that kind of depends on what you're cleaning. You never want to use bleach at 100% concentration. So in general, when you're starting out, you want to think first clean, then disinfect. So clean, then disinfect, okay? So if you want to disinfect a hard, non-porous surface like a counter or a sink or um, a bathtub or a shower or something like that, you want to clean the surface first with soap and water and then rinse that off. The bleach won't disinfect well if the surface that you're trying to clean has dirt on it. Okay, after it's clean, you can then disinfect it in a couple of ways. One way is just to mix bleach in a bucket with water. An alternative is to mix bleach in a spray bottle and they both work fine. It's important to point out, only mix what you will use for the day. Once diluted, bleach starts to lose its potency after 24 hours. So tomorrow, if you have anything left, 
Water it down as much as you can and dump it down the sink. So back to cleaning a hard, non-porous surface. The bleach to water ratio is about one half cup for one gallon of water. If you want to use less than that, it's about one teaspoon per cup or about two tablespoons for four cups. For routine cleaning, I get away with about one cup per day. I wash the counter with soap and water, and then I'm gonna spray the entire counter generously with the bleach water solution and wipe it down. Then you let it sit for five minutes. Don't wipe it dry right after you spray it. That won't effectively kill bacteria and viruses. The surface needs to be visibly wet for the five minutes, and when the time is up, rinse the surface with water and let it dry. If I wanna disinfect my dishes, say someone in my house has been diagnosed with COVID-19 or the flu or anything else I don't wanna spread, or let's say you were cutting chicken or pork on your cutting board and you wanna kill any bacteria on your cutting board, what you wanna do first is clean the dishes with liquid detergent, just like you normally would, then mix one tablespoon of bleach with one gallon of water and soak the dishes for two minutes. Rinse with hot water and then let air dry. Don't dry with a hand towel. The air drying is part of the process. If you have a dishwasher, you can also set it to the sanitizing setting and that works too. We did a whole video all about clean and sanitizing dishes. We'll put a card above. Click on the card and you can go check that out. You can also disinfect toys that are washable. Avoid porous toys or stuffed animals. First, wipe them down to get rid of any dirt that's on it. Then you wanna mix one half cup bleach with one gallon of water. Soak the toys for five minutes, rinse with warm water, and then let it air dry. For mopping floors, you'll need a stronger concentration. Mix three fourths cup bleach with one gallon of water. As always, you'll wanna first wipe or wash the floor, then apply the bleach solution and let it stand for five minutes. Rinse your floor well and then let it air dry. Again, make sure to work in a well ventilated room. And I just wanna note that bleach isn't recommended for marble, travertine or other stone flooring as it can be pretty harsh to the natural stone. And you may have noticed that my floor is travertine. I know it. I know that bleach isn't great for our floor, but this home is a fixer upper. We're currently saving to have the floor repolished and resealed because it needs it really, really bad. So I'm not really worried about that right now, but as far as your stone floors, it's not recommended. It is safe to use though on ceramic tile, vinyl, and linoleum. You can use it on wood floors as long as the wood has a finish that effectively makes it like a hard surface. But I would test it in an inconspicuous place first, just to be sure. Thanks for watching this video. I hope that you found it informative. And if you did, let us know by hitting the like button and remember to subscribe. Also remember to share and pin this video. We recently did a video on how to properly clean and disinfect your laundry if somebody in your home is sick. I'll put that at the end of this video. Click on that and we'll see you in the next video.